Yo, what's going on? Sexy Sam is going to be doing a rank one. Uh, not a rank one. I, it's a rank 5v5, and it's on Smite 2, and we are going to play Crit Fenrir. Now, <laughs> Watch that red here's the thing about Crit Fenrir. It works. And when I say it works, I don't mean like, oh, it's okay. It like, it like his three crits, which... If you don't know what his three is, it's the brutalized like meow, and then he goes meow, 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 and it's four. You know, meow, 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 meow. You, know? <laughs> you know what I mean? All of those can crit. So what we're going to do is we're going to buy this one and this one and this one, probably in the opposite order, probably this, this, and then this. And it's going to give me a 70% crit chance. And, uh, and then I win, I think, I think I just win. Hi, Sam. I can shut up. I'm recording, man. You just wanted to say hi, man. It's the loudest mic I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> okay, can you tell me what your character's abilities do real quick? A little camera shy. Hey, he must be. <laughs> All right, we're going to start over by the red. Uh, there's two different yes, starts. My first ability is called Spear Okay, Arrow. stop! Stop! <laughs> okay, I'm going to start over by red. There's two starts you can do as jungle. You can either start at this speed and go do, 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 do. Or you can go do, 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 and then gank level three here. But um, if you assume that they're going to invade, you, you want to be where the invade's going to happen. And I assume that if they do invade, it will be over in the solo side, so... I'm gonna get out here. I'm just gonna go reverse order basically. So I'm gonna go um I'm gonna go red into the back camp into speed buff and then I'm gonna gank duo lane at level three rather than ganking uh solo. I have no idea where they are. Yo Nuker, thank you for the hundred and eight month resub. Holy shit. Nine years. Kind of crazy. That is absolutely absurd. Can I three over this wall here? I can. Alright. I guess you learn something new every day. That should kill it. And then we can kill this yellow. They didn't even invade my yellow, which is really weird. So I do actually get to hit level three here, which I was not expecting. They're not there. Hakate is mid here. I could kill this Hakate. No, all means no get away. Oh. Uh oh. Nice. Oh, if I had mana. If I had mana buster, you'd be so down. And dead. Also, down and dead. Oh, let's snag these. So there's a few things that changed with this, this like light, like a lot of things actually changed about this game, but a few things changed about lifesteal in general that I need to talk about. And it's the fact that lifesteal no longer applies only to auto attacks. So every lifesteal item in the game in Smite 2 is like Soul Eater was in Smite 1. So you heal off of your abilities and off of your auto attacks with lifesteal. So... What that means for Fenrir is his three is a lifesteal machine. It's an actual lifesteal machine. You you just press three and heal the full HP. And I think the way that you can play Fenrir, there's, I mean, obviously there's a couple ways. Um, but the way that I've seen a lot of Fenrir's play specifically is they'll go triple lifesteal and triple crit. So like, they'll go like, because you can get six items plus your starter item in Smite 2. Because your starter item doesn't take up a slot. Um, so you'll, they'll go like Devos. And then Reaper. And then... Hold on. I gotta save the life of my, my fellow video game player. This Karno should die. If I can get my three on him, he should die. Nice. 
Nice. Really good counter gank by me. Really good counter gank. Um. But yeah, so they'll go triple lifesteal with like Devos and then... Let's, let me look at the items. Devos and then Reaper and then Serrated will be the, the triple lifesteal item that they go. And then they'll just go like this, this, and this. These Demon Blade, Deathbringer, and the Dual Sword. Which looks like the Hasten Katana. Hopefully, I get the XP for that. I did. Good. Bacchus is over here. I could maybe kill this Bacchus. Okay. Um... Um, I don't have enough mana to kill the Bacchus, but it doesn't really matter because we got we got another counter gank off successfully. And maybe I can get the blue here as well. This is this game feels very much like I'm in the right place at the right time. Oh, unlucky. Oh god. We got sundered. Loki could come back over here. Loki ulted out, though, so I don't think he can kill me. That... That was a very weird play by the Bacchus. I don't know why. Like, he must... For sure, he thought he could kill me, but I don't know why he thought he could kill me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go this and this because it's a perfect amount of gold spent. I'm going to finish the Devos and start working on my first crit item, which is Demon Blade. Um, oh, God. Neath might be dead. If Loki doesn't have ult, he's fine. All right, they're going to my, my yellow buff, my speed buff. Nah, they're not. They're too scared of me. But yeah, I do think Fenrir is probably one of the best gods, or one of the best junglers in Smite 2. I'd say it's probably in order of like best to worst. It's probably like Take this jungle buff. S tier, I would say, is Susano. And then in A tier, you have Loki and Fenrir. And then in like C tier, you have Thanatos. Thanatos' damage is like really lackluster in Smite 2 right now. I, I assume it's going to be changed. Um, but some things don't just, they just don't translate in a one-to-one -one ratio from, oh, you're just dead, by the way. Right. I don't think I can kill this guy, but I killed that Kate, so I'll take it. Actually, I can kill you. You're going to be that greedy. What a good blink. Honestly, what a good blink. I'm not even mad. That was sick. Hello. I do have an Ares here. Oh! I jumped at the perfect time to avoid his ult. That's insanity. That is insanity. I can't get that yet. I guess there's no point in backing until I can get... What, 1250 so I can at least get both tier two items. Oh. Live! Oh, damn. All right. Well, I died, but we get tier two items, so it's fine. The tier two items are really good. This one gives you 10% crit chance and 10% RN strength. As well as giving you some move speed when you land a crit, which. You know, with 10% crit chance by itself, that's not really a lot. And then this one is just straight up attack speed. Enemy missing left. But we are 6-1 and one right now, which is pretty good. Um, I do hope that I can get this crit chance online, because I really want to see my 3 crit. I know that Fenrir 3 can crit, but I've never personally seen it. Because most Fenrir players that I fight... um, They go lifesteal and cooldown. Which makes sense. Okay, there it is. I just crit right there. 
for 323 on on one tick of my three I hit for 323 that's actually insane that's actually crazy All right, so we need 900 gold. Get one oh successful gank off, and we Under should be able to go buy our first crit item. And I think what I'm going to do is I'll probably alternate between a crit item and then a lifesteal item. Uh, you are dead, by the way. I just obliterated that guy. Odin, how tanky is Odin? Odin is damage. Odin note down. I think Loki might be on your speed. Destroyed a middle enemy tower. Your left tower is under attack. I don't know where he went. Dang it. Oh, he did do my speed. Damn it. An enemy has been slain. Uh oh. Fucking, I'm coming. An ally Damn. Has been slain. Down. No worries. You'll just have to. Oh, I missed the three. I don't know why I thought the three was so long range there. I can kill this box, though. So. Oh, come on! Everything is going wrong. This is so lame. Let me fight. Has been slain. Wow. All right. Um, not actually going to fight me, are they? Whatever, let's just go get crit. Oh, actually, my red buff is up. XP! Who's the jungler? Loki is, I assume. I'm two levels ahead of the Loki right now. I'm feeling pretty good. Has Fen Jump always given runes for the enemies you hit? No. Oh, I can totally kill the Sakate. Attack the gold fury. Oh, the crit. Let's go, baby. Hello. Ow. Dude, my three critting. My three hit that Hakate for a thousand and twenty seven damage. Oh, my good gracious. All right, let's go grab our crit chance and then we'll go back to the lifesteal section and we'll go into the Reaper. The reason I get the Reaper... Oh, they just surrendered. Well, the reason I get the Reaper second is because um, it stacks on when you get kills up to three times. And when you have all three stacks, it's a 65 strength item, which is insane. All right, see you guys in game two. What's up, gamers? Welcome back to game number two. So... I got a fun fact, okay? There's there's a couple things I want to mention just right out the gate. Number one. Um, I, only for I did death. just say in game one that I think Thanatos is the worst later. jungler right now. But I wanted to give him a shot. Um, because I heard some... Eh, slightly incriminating knowledge that I want to put to the test to see if it's true. And what I heard was that... Oh. That Thanatos, even though he doesn't have mana in Smite 2, you can, I mean, you can tell all of his abilities, they only cost HP. 6% health, 4% health, 4% health, and then his ult is 6%. Um, but he still gets mana from items like Transcendence and Book of Thoth, which is what I heard. I don't know if it's true. I don't think true. it's on your camera mic no more, but you're a little quiet. I, I'm a little quiet though, too. I don't know if it's true. I heard it, and I want to test it out. If it's not true, I'm going to do so much damage. If it's true, if I can build Transcendence and Book of Thoth, uh, yeah, yeah, I can 
I'm gonna do so much damage with my scythe. But I have no idea. We're just gonna start with this speed buff. I don't have Sunder, so I can't really help an invade. As Fenrir, you have such early game, like level one pressure that you don't need Sunder because your three is, it does just like 400 damage. You know what I mean? So you don't really need the Sunder. As Thanatos, your Scythe is only hitting for like 150, maybe 200 if you're lucky. So you need Sunder if you're gonna get contested. Yeah, it does 150. So I'm just gonna actually avoid any kind of trouble and just start on my speed. I will say the, um, what is it called? The AOE auto feels very good. Also, Chris just immediately going hyper aggro. Getting that first bud. Let's go. Good job, Christopher. Is this actually up? Oh, it's actually up. Wow. I get level three again. It's so, it's actually rare. At least I feel like it's rare that you, you get level three on your first buff rotation. Like it makes sense that you should, but invading is so heavy right now that like, it just makes, oh wait. This need is dead. Down. All right. Okay. Oh, look at that Ares. I don't even need the help. My team is gaming, bro. My team is gaming. Oh, I can kill this on her. Nice. Go blink action. Now this could be completely stupid. Like I said, like this transcendence could just straight up not work. Hello, Loki. I'd prefer to leave the dying to them. Oh, he's got blink. <laughs> Shit, dude, that scared me. That scared me. Oh my God. This item is literally useless by the way. It's 250 max mana and two mana regen. It is completely useless for me. <laughs> oh my gosh. Dude, I could have killed that Loki. Dang it. That needs to scare the crap out of me. I guess to be fair, I did walk up behind that Neath and execute her. So it is only fair that she gets some sort of revenge on me. Who is who's the harpy? Is it the cuckoo? Oh, it's the Loki, because I can just see the Loki. Well, that's a bug that should not exist. Enemy ultimate incoming. Are you just dead, gamer? Oh. He lived! Oh, that is so tragic. That is so tragic. Alright. It's fine. Alright, let's check out the strength number here. It's 86. I buy this. It's 115. Okay. Okay. Now it's 132. Why did it go up? Oh, I got Hakate passive. That's why. All right. Um. So the when I stack my transcendence, I need to check to see if my power goes up. I'm at 134 right now. I'm at 134 power. 
Keep that in mind. I'm at 134. That is massively important. Loki's coming towards you. Oh my god, I do a lot of damage. Oh, good blink. Good blink. Oh. Oh? I don't have any abilities up. Oh! Oh, nice. I'm at 137! I'm at 137 power. It is working! Okay, that was a visual bug. That was a visual bug that I was able to execute that guy. When in reality, I most certainly was not able to execute that guy. I can kill this. Neat though. Nice. Nice. There's definitely a Loki here. Dang it. You know what I just realized is super OP for Thanatos? Is he doesn't have footsteps. So you don't, you don't like... You don't actually hear Thanatos coming. You don't hear his footsteps because he doesn't have any. He's completely silent. That's OP. That's actually OP. <clears throat> Dude, this is actually so cool that Transcendence works on Thanatos. Transcendence and Book of Thoth. If Book of Thoth works too, that's crazy. Because, uh, by the way, the reason I'm buying Book of Thoth, you might be thinking to yourself, Sam, why are you building intelligence? Uh, cause this scales off strength and this scales, all well, this doesn't scale. This scales off strength and this scales off strength. Literally there's no use for intelligence. It's cause Book of Thoughts gives you so much mana that it actually gives you a lot of strength from transcendence. Open the gate. Oh, can I just like kill you though? Nice. Your team has destroyed a left enemy tower. I don't know where this Loki is. Loki is kind of a scary god to fight. Just because... I feel like every time I see Loki, he can kill me. Even if I'm super far ahead. Like right there. He's he's right there. Oh, good Aegis. Oh my god, my sight does damage. Wait, holy shit. I'm doing so much damage. By the way, I think a good jungler just wins the game. For you. I'm gonna call it out. Oh, 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 oh my god. Ow! Dang it. Alright. I'm going to wait to buy Book of Thoth because I want to see... Right now, I have I have 135 power. Dude, my team is just cooking. Good stuff. Oh, nice. Yeah, I have 135 power. I buy this. I have 140 strength. Okay. So, it does... It does work. An enemy has been slain. It does work. So the more stacking I get, like once these are both fully stacked, I'm going to be doing so much. I'm kind of already doing a lot. I'm not going to lie. Like how much does my size do right now? 415. 415 damage ability at less than 10 minutes in the game is pretty insane. Uh oh. Loki's 
Loki all down. Um, where's that Loki? Do we think that Loki just back? He probably saw me in the air and just dipped, to be honest. Oh. Hello on her. I am fast. Oh god. Your left tower is under attack. Again? Another 10 minute surrender? Dude, we are just cooking. We are just cooking these fellas. Alright, I'll see you guys next game. Yo, what's up, gamers? Today we're doing Jungle Crit Ymir. As you can as you can see, there's a theme in today's video. If you haven't picked up on it yet, it's it's crit. I'm just playing everything crit. Um I didn't play Thanatos crit actually, but okay, I would have gotten some crit. Dior. They surrendered before I even finished my Book of Thoth. Well, that's not true. Savage. I had like 10 stacks on book when they surrendered. It was pretty close. Um, okay. Face Punch Ymir probably wants Transcendence and Book again. And then you just go like Hydra's Poly and then double crit, right? Trans book, Hydra's poly, double crit. That's probably the play. I'd assume. I have 71 strength right now. 10 plus 10. What do I have 71? I guess every character starts with some amount of strength, right? Well, my passive gives me... every When I auto them, my passive gives me 185% strength scaling. My two is Intel, my three is Intel, my alt is Intel and protection. So my alt is not going to hit very hard with face punch your mirror build, but with book and poly, maybe it'll be enough uh, intelligence to maybe do a little bit something. Is Boomba's needed when you jungle? Honestly, I don't think Boomba's is needed when you jungle in Smite 2. Uh, but it does help a good amount. Like, mandatory? Absolutely not. Very helpful? Yes. Alright, we are doing good damage, though. I'm actually happy with this. Should I get my wall or my freeze? I guess because I have blink, I should just get my freeze, right? If I didn't have blink, I would go, I'd go wall here for sure. I need to help him. I don't want him to lose too much HP in this red. I'm pretty sure splitting that red means that I don't hit level three here though. Unfortunately. Yeah, it does. That's fine. See, Mordred is the solo laner. Mordred has no defense. I could blink, freeze, maybe kill. He does have Sunder. He doesn't have blink. Ah, uh, he knew I was there. Damn. Important. Unfortunate. That is in left jungle. Be careful, left. Ooh. Arcus might be dead. I could kill the Zeus, maybe. Nice. Very, very nice. I don't know if we got that kill first or not, though. I'm pretty sure he's dead. Oh, but Fenrir might be dead, too. Oh, he lives. That's crazy. Fenrir's is running. I'm going to kill the Cernanos. Oh, 
Alright. Perfect. Perfect. Alright. Well, let's start our transcendence. We'll grab this and this. And some more health bots. Why not? Just to make sure that we're safe. Now, the mana from this actually does help me. I'm not running out of mana too much, but... It will help me a lot. Fenrir is already 2-0. The Fenrir is kind of big. All right, Matrix is just cooking this game, I guess. Yeah, the Fenrir is 2,900 gold. I'm 27. So I'm a bit behind. Matrix just died to a tower. <laughs> Why? Why did he just die to that tower? I'm gonna get this blue, make sure that Matrix doesn't lose it. Okay, I walled myself. Oops. Uh oh. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Shit. Nice. Nice. Good jukes. Good freaking jukes, Hawkin. Good job, man. Alright, so with Ymir, the he got a couple changes to his kit, obviously. The uh the two you can cast while moving, which is a super nice quality of life change. And then the one, it now bounces you forward off of it. And it also bounces them off of it. Like the enemies, it bounces them off of it if you put it long range. So. Um. I don't know what that Fenrir thought he was going to do. I don't know what the Fenrir thought he was going to do there. mid. Maybe we can catch the Zeus off guard. Oh, he's at the red. Oh, that Zeus is so dead. Nice. Very nice. All right, we'll get the transcendence. We'll get the book. Um, I think I'll just wait the 30 gold I need for the Oracle staff. Not seeing Crit Ymir. I am going Crit Ymir. I'm going Transcendence into Book. Into um, Hydras. Enemy missing. Into Double Crit. And then last item will be Polly, probably. Ooh, Chris got cooked. I don't know where the Mordred is. Mordred only has physical... Oh, no, he's got some magical protection as well. I was going to say, if he's only got fizz protection, I can just kill him. But... Unfortunately, he's a well-versed solo laner. Red buff spawns in three seconds. I'm going to take it from them. Team has destroyed a I'm just counter farming a lot. I think in Smite 2, the current meta for Smite 2 is counter farm. Could be a Fender around this corner. Oh. Oh, I missed. No. No. Slain. No! Been slain. Dang it! Uh, a, that's another thing that you can do, by the way. <laughs> With, you can blink in your mural. There's also this item called... Let me find it. This item right here. Cersei's Hexstone. 
Um, it transforms you into a boar. And you <laughs> dash forward. And when you hit something, you blow up and you do like X amount of damage. But the thing about that item is you can use it at any point in time. Like you can use it while casting an ability. You can use it during Ymir alt charge. You can use it during Hades charge. You can even use it in a, during Anubis alt. Let's say someone is running away from you in Anubis alt. You can use that item and chase them while Anubis alt. It's insane. <laughs> It's really fun. Um, and I, I do think... I do really like the the combat blink and the Cersei's Hexstone. I think it adds a lot of... Like, it, it doesn't add a lot of depth because it's arguably less balanced of a game. It's arguably less balanced of a game with combat blink and the Cersei's Hexstone in it. However, it is way more fun, which is the only thing that's important. Oh, you're dead. Oh, Bacchus went in. No, not my poor Bacchus. All right. Do we think these guys are going to surrender too? I feel like they maybe should. I missed. I missed twice. Dude, the cooldown on the two is insanely fast. Is the cooldown on his two that fast in Smite 1? It's literally six seconds. And I have no cooldown. Like, I have built no CDR. Oh! I wasn't paying attention! I'm so sorry! I'm not sorry anymore. Take this! Take this, demon! All right. GG, game three. I'll see you guys in game four. Yo, what's up, gamers? This is going to be the last game of this video. Um, the queues are taking 10 minutes per queue because we're five man. I could definitely, like, in the future, I'm going to solo queue these videos to make them, one, more interesting uh, because I know that five stacking is, like, kind of insane. It's, it's a little bit too strong right now, and I apologize that I'm abusing it. But this gives me, this only gives you strength, huh? It doesn't give you actually like intelligence. Whatever, we'll buy it anyways. And then we'll just go this with two pots. And we'll start with invade. Okay, um, but yeah, so. I know that I'm in the future. I'm going to solo queue these games. It is try our Thursday, technically speaking, which is why I'm doing in like so many games in one video, even though they're all 10 minute surrenders because I'm five stacked and we're try harding, oh, okay. you know, um, I'm, I'm gaining strength and intelligence, build protections to increase strength and build cooldown rate to increase intelligence. Both auras increase with level a level one. <laughs> Intel intelligence and strength you get one per level minions have spawned a hundred percent of your cooldown rate that you build gets put into your intelligence so Ares got a new passive huh Ares also got a change to where you can use his one while casting your three so you don't need to like chain 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 and then three you can actually chain first press three and then chain again but you know, obviously, if you still want to weave those autos in, you gotta, you gotta wait it out. But I don't know if this is gonna go well at all. I have a feeling this is gonna go horribly. 
I'm already dead. I feel like maybe I should have just started my one. Maybe starting three was a bait here. What does my two do? Gives me protections and basic attack damage. That's actually pretty good. I am just going to get my one here though. Hmm. Ayers is definitely a better murderer than he is a farmer, for sure. I think Ares Jungle is more of a bait than however you decide to level him. Alright. That's fair. I agree completely. But I thought it'd be fun. It is fun. Okay, I want this Hades to use his one. Okay, surely the Hades saw me. That's been early. Dang it. Uh, that's uh, Loki Bees. Dang it. Alright, let's go try to kill this Neath. Okay, I do literally no damage at all. Damn it. I gotta get my items online, man. What up? 1800. All right, looks like we're farming for bulk. At least this game will be a little bit longer, ideally. Won't be a 10 minute stomp fest. In fact, it looks like Hawken already died once. Who's their jungle? Is it Fenner or Loki? It's Loki. Fenner is their support. I wonder if it's actually better, like... Never mind, I was about to say the dumbest shit ever. I was gonna say, I wonder if it's better to level your two just so you can auto-attack really fast. Or, uh, for a lot of damage. But I'm not going auto-attack Ares, I'm going... Going damage Ares. Oh, good kill. Enemy missing. Loki's in the right jungle. Where's this Neath? I have no idea where this Neath is. We're just sitting under tower the whole time. Does this Neath have me warded or something? Oh, there's Loki. Fine. Oh god. No, I got ulted. Uh oh. Oh, you up downed. You should not have up downed. Oh god, on his level four and he whipped. Wait, it might be Jover for us. Dude, this Fender didn't, didn't level alt. What? Uh, what? I just didn't get. I didn't. I didn't have alt. Is it because it's not level five? Yeah, yeah. Fender is not oh, level wait. five. <laughs> Technically speaking, is he not supposed to? So Aachen is saying that he just transformed into the Fender, but he couldn't alt because Fender was level four. But I thought the level this uh the level disparage is supposed to be made up by you just being able to level an ability like you get one point in, a, in an ability at least that's how it's supposed to go at least none of them have beads except for loki hades has cc immune alt jingwei has cc immune alt fenner has cc immune alt so i can pull i should be able to pull um the neath literally on cooldown with my ult. Let's just get his ult here. Yeah. BBD.
Well, my team is getting cooked now. Um, I guess I should back and go get my my book and start stacking that. Thank you. And then do I want to double stack or should I just start building some cooldown? Because I feel like I should start building some cooldown. Uh, where's the cooldown? Here it is. Oh, nice kill. Nice kill, nice kill. Let's see. So cooldown rate. Oh, I should go Chronos Pendant for sure. Let's go. And I lived? Okay, all right. That's a successful game. What is this build into? Honestly, I do kind of want this item. This item is really good. It's 100 intelligence and it has cooldown rate. And then if you have like a lot of intelligence built, 225, you get an additional 15 cooldown rate. So with Book of Thoth into Cosmic Horror, I will need one more item in order to get the passive, but I still think it's probably worth it. I want to ult this Neath. This Neath doesn't have beads. We should be able to just kill her. Alter? Oh. She has nothing. She can't get out of this. Or, or blink. Okay. I guess that's fine. Alt for a relic is worth. What's the cooldown on blink? Yeah, 240 seconds. That's super worth it. 80 seconds for 240. You should go into Deso, not Cosmic Horror. So you don't waste the passive. Yeah, that's probably true, actually. But I don't want to waste this tier 1 item. Hey, Blink while chained? Yeah, Blink is uh, a cripple. Or Blink Blink is um, it's combat. Yeah, I was really hoping that we'd be able to do damage there. Oh, they're getting that? Does Loki have ult? Okay. Wait, they caught that? How did they catch that Jingwei? Alright, let's do it. Good job, gamers. I'll take one more hit and then I'll back off. Hopefully it doesn't aggro to me because I will die instantly. <laughs> oh, I am taking dick. Ow! Oh my god, I almost died. Okay, I'll back. Fine. Fine, I'll back. Jesus. Jiminy Christmas. Has been slain. That's right. roll. Let's go Deso and then Horror. I actually like that idea. Because I would be wasting the... Um, I would be wasting the, the passive of Cosmic Horror initially. And I'm not a big guy of wasting. I don't like wasting. Alright, their jungler is level 8. And I'm also level 8. So as long as I'm keeping up, I'm cool with it. As long as I keep up with him, I'm cool with it. No! No, I was so close! Dang it, dude. I almost cooked them both. Ah, I mean, they both died. 
They both died, so it's fine, but I almost killed both of them, man. Damn it. Gorsh darn it. What about Mirden? Mirden would be okay, but I don't really like using Mirden on the chains. It confuses me. If you use Mirden on the chains, then you use one chain with Mirden. Enemy then you missing. use your second chain, and then you use your third chain. You're like, wait a second, do I have three more chains, or is this just my last chain? You know? You know what I mean? Because, like, does Mirrodin just give you an extra proc of one, or does it give you an extra proc of three? Oh no, that is not good. Wow, I take a lot of damage. Oh, he thundered him! Oh! He killed him! <laughs> Yo! That thunder was sick! Good shit! Good shit! I'm just gonna sell this. I mean, there's no point in selling it. But yeah, there is. I get, I get full price for it. Oh no, I don't. It says I can sell for 300 and I have 678, but then I sell and I only get, I only get 200. Not worth. Wait, I can't even undo anymore. Oh, dang it. <laughs> I, I trolled. <laughs> I just lost a hundred gold. An ally has been slain. Impressive, impressive, impressive. All right. That's all right. Look, we we all knew that this was going to take some build up, okay? I'm not just going to start out cooking everyone. Using chains for Mirrodin proc just eats the Mirrodin proc, not worth it. See? I knew I knew something like that was going to happen. That's why I have a big brain and I didn't do it. It's time to fuck up this Hades. Come here, Buster Brown. I missed. Come here, buddy. Let's go! I didn't even need his help. I actually cooked that guy. My change did 775 and my autos did 561. I actually cooked. Did Hades ult twice? No, Hades is allowed to use one ability during his ult. And he used his one, which extends the duration of your ult a little bit. Oh, I'm cooking now. I am cooking now, baby. You see, I needed some items online, but now I am cooking. Oh, there's a Loki here. Uh-oh. Oh! Nice. Very nice. Hello, Loki. You want to fight me, buddy? Yeah, you don't want a piece of this. I'm going to chill right here. Oh, he's all still. Damn it. I'm backing up. I'm getting the speed over here. 
Oh. Oh, I missed. Shoot. No, I got him. Oh, Chris got him. Damn it. I thought I got him. <laughs> I was going to be so happy. All right, Cosmic Horror. We just got actually so much damage. Look at this. We have 177 intelligence right now. I'll buy this. I shoot up to 283, man. 283. All right, next item. Uh, where's Gem of Iso? Here it is. We definitely slam a Gem of Iso now. So we had 150, right? Or we had 170 intelligence. When I spawn, I'll get more, I think, right? Yeah, 322 intelligence. I literally doubled. Your left tower is under attack. I doubled my damage output with that one item purchase. That's actually stupidly overpowered. Don't worry, I'm, I'm here, buddy. Don't be afraid. All right, not bad. I didn't get the kill, but I did get him killed. You know what I mean? I'll take it. Ow, I'm dead. Oh, I even chained him while he was self. Oh, 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 Hawkin. I caught that on video, Hawkin. Oh no, that's tragic. Hawken, I've, I've just caught that entire interaction on video. Bro, that was a crazy alt combo. And a crazy one, by the way. See, that was crazy. <laughs> I gotta stop spamming my four Yeah, it's on her support. It's <laughs> Chris is playing on her support. We have on her support and Ares jungle. Man. And we're winning, by the way. Which is absurd. Alright, I'm the same level as Loki still, so I'm doing okay. You know, I'm, I'm farming okay. I have just about as much gold as him as well. I really want this jump of ISO online though. Oh, this is a kill. Let's go, dude. It's actually huge. Oh, fuck the fire. Get this. But I'm dead. Oh! I thought my gamers were coming for me, but they killed the Hades instead. What the heck? It's cringe. I thought the homies were backing me up, man. Dang it. Also, I don't have Sunder, so going for... Going for, uh... Fire there would have been bad. Oh my god, Soul just got fucking deleted. Holy crap. Planning on doing a full intelligence build with this? Because if so, you could end up doing 2.5k damage if you land all three chains and all hits of the three. Well, it depends. Because they can just kill me. But we'll see. I I mean I I hope so. It could be on gold actually. They probably are doing gold. I'm gonna wait 20 gold here. 240 health is actually a lot. Like it, it's like a 10% increase to my max health. Enemies of the gold fury defend the gold fury. Are they actually doing gold? I think, I think she has Nogget. Loki are down. Um, I just got to keep farming. 
The jump of focus is a good ass item as well. Gives you move speed and cooldown rate. And cooldown rate gives me intelligence. So it's like intelligence, move speed, and extra cooldown. Such a good item. Put him down. They, they got, they got the, uh, oh, you can't run. Come here, puppy. Wait. Wait, I can't even attach a chain if they're CC immune. Get his ass, get his ass. Yeah! Let's go. That's the Ares jungle diff for you. Ares jungle diff for you right there. Look at the numbies I just pumped. Don't worry, I got this. I got this, guys. Don't worry. We believe. I believe in you. I'm defending. I have no idea where the Hades is. Okay. I'm going to get her. I'm going to get her. I'm going to get her. I'm a one-shotter. She blinked! Dang it! You didn't want the smoke, man. I would have cooked her. What does Soul Gem do? Oh, it does. It does the same thing as it does in Smite One. All right. Oh, uh, let's just get Gem, and then I say we go Gem of Focus after Gem of Isolation, and then Gem of Focus. She read you like a book. Yeah. You know what I could have done? Is I could have just altered her, actually. I need at least one kill, so I'm not 0 3. Like, please. Yeah, I'm going to go Soul Reaver for my last item. Enemy spotted. Greetings, mortal. Uh oh Oh my god. All right. I've got cook. Look y'all down. Huge. Oh my god, he's hitting 800 damage per Holy shit. Yeah, this is ranked. Dude, I got owned. That Predator just hopped on me, and then the, the Jing Wei did 1500 damage to me in five autos. <laughs> a crazy amount of damage to deal far too much honestly they could probably do that tower though to be honest God, it takes me forever to clear. Did they nerf Ares 3 in Smite 2? Because it feels a lot weaker. All right, guys. I got my first Jade Scepter. Oh. Impressive. Attack the Cold Fury. Oh, we are cooking this thing. 
Oh, we gotta help Chris. Oh, I missed the chain. I missed the chain. Oh, toast him, toast him, toast him. Oh, where are you going? Where are you going, 80? Where'd that Jingwei go? Oh, Loki. Wait. Let's go! Toasted him! Get this hair get this Hades! Get this Hades! Boom! Let's go! I still went negative. I still went negative, but if you count the assists, like if you go, oh, your KD was negative. Yeah. But my KDA was positive, and I'll take that. I'll take that as a dub. All right. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And please do all those things. Get this uh, Smite 2 video out into the algorithm for all the Smite 1 uh, lovers and the Smite 2 haters. By the way. All right. GG's.